to uh, start a playthrough of this game. Um, this is probably one of my favorite racing games of all time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a uh, new alias. I have no idea what to name it. Probably just go with my gamer tag because I'm lame. Oh, I don't want to sign in. So we'll just go with uh, Jibs. Now, for uh, any of you who don't know, what this is is Need for Speed Carbon. If you can't tell, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start a new career. So I'm gonna shut up while the intro video plays. Cops or anything. Oh no, it's Cross. <laughs> This is the first little mini race of the game. We're going to run into a stack of concrete pipes <laughs> in this lovely BMW. I can't remember what it's called. And I don't think I've actually ever unlocked this car in the game. And I really, really want to. <laughs> it's handling is like ridiculous, if you can't tell. Um, which brings me to the first, uh, decision, what kind of, uh, car should I pick? Um, I think it's between the Alfa Brenna, Moss RX-7, and the Camaro. As I said, stack of pipes. Settle a little score from Rockport. You think? I don't remember asking for your help, Crod. What makes you think you can bounty hunt Silverton without my approval? It's Cross. And this guy's from out of town. Been a long time, kid. What's his bounty? 150k. David, take care of this guy. So, that's what you've been up to. Uh oh. Nikki, this should be interesting. Control yourself. I still don't know what happened that night you took off, but I do know you're into me now for some serious cash. Things have been getting a little too close for comfort around here with all these crews battling for new territory. I think I could use someone with your skills to help me out. The way I see things. I bailed you out of a serious jam twice now. Time for you to return the favor. Nikki, what do you say you show your old friend the ropes? You gotta be joking, right? You got a better idea. Then let's get him started, right away. Don't disappoint. Not again. Thanks for waiting up. Yeah, yeah, sure, Nikki. Hey, uh, who's the third wheel? Doesn't matter. Darius made all these cars available to you. Pick one, whichever one you want. Hey, if, uh, if there's three, do I get one? I mean, I, I don't care which one, although I am partial to the one with the sweet rims. 
Why don't you just make sure the tanks are filled? That's great. I'm the monkey! Pick one. Let's get this over with. Okay, so when we escaped from, uh, not really escape, but when we uh, crashed with that other car, it totaled it. So we get to pick one of these three. Um, they're divided up into muscle, exotic, and tuner. Um, they all have a specialty. Um, muscle cars have the best acceleration out of any of the three. Um, exotics have the highest speed, and tuners have the best handling. Um, I usually have either done exotic or muscle, so I think this time I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go tuner. And we're gonna go automatic just for the sake that I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, when I get, probably when I get more accustomed to it, I'll flip it over to manual. But now we're going to, uh, have Nikki and, uh, Neville show us all different things you can do after we race some of Nikki's friends here. So, yep, she just wants us to race her buddies. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. I don't. I gotta talk about something while I race, and I don't know what. Um, besides the fact that this car sucks right now, I really don't know how it outspeeds them, and, and this is just stock. But uh, the handling is really important later on. Um, it took me a while to to set up recording for this because um, I just got some component cables. I think that's what they're called. I got some component cables for my PS3, which this is on because um, I don't have it on Xbox. And when I hooked them up to my HD PVR, uh, I set the output setting on the PS3 to 1080 and this game only is HD and 720 which doesn't make a ton of sense but that caused it to be all fuzzy and I really didn't know oh crap and I really didn't know what the problem was so I had to do some reading up on the on some stuff but I finally figured it out and yeah we're done with this race could have lapped on my bed if it was a circuit race. Would you like this car to start your career? Absolutely. I actually am thinking of doing a another vlog soon, try and do like a setup video, show you guys uh, my command center, so to speak. <laughs> So now we're going to learn about uh, racing with crews. Okay, come on, let's just get this over with. So, crews are a big part of building a rep in this city. You can bring a wingman into a lot of the races, and believe me, you're going to want to. There's basically three different skills you're going to see. Some drivers are blockers, others are drafters, and there's scouts. Right now, I'll be your wingman just to show you. Neville's gonna help out in your competition for a few laps. First, you need to know how to tell your wingman when it's time to work. They'll just race until you tell them to do more. Try it now. That's it. You got it. Remember, it works the same for blockers and drafters. But scouts are working for you pretty much all the time. Okay, blockers are like Christmas on the road. They don't mind scratching their rides to knock your competition off the track. Let me show you. She should completely smack him. Okay, just say when and we'll draft. 
This is, I think, the most useless crew perk. See, like, I hardly got any speed off that. These are my favorite. Um, I usually run with Sal. Just be oh crap, I missed that one. Keep in mind that your wingmen will only work for a limited time. Once they're drained, they'll stop helping out. But they will stay with you and build back up until they're ready to do their thing again. And wingmen are like Nox. If you use them too early in the race, they won't be ready when you need them most. Okay, now you got the basics. Now take it on to the streets. So now we know what crews do what, how to work them. Now we can start dominating there, everything. That's all you need to get started. I'm done wasting my time on you. Later, Neville. Well, I guess it's just you and me. Let's go find some trouble. In trouble do you mean cops? I think so. I love cop chases in this game. Cause they get really interesting the longer you go. You're out in Rockport, huh? Man, a lot has changed since you took off. There are tons of crews in this town everywhere, man. Crazy. Dispatch possible code six just moved by me. I'm moving up. See if I can ID him. Look out, cops! I need a hand with this vehicle. 1044 on my position. Let's go hot stairs. <laughs> I got your back. I'll lose the heat. Stay on the pedal. Yes, overwrite save data. Oh my god. The only thing I don't like about a PS3 is this save thing that always comes up. I got your patrol division. Units engage high speed pursuit of a single vehicle that is evading custody. Uh, handle this call on channel two. Okay, so in a cop chase, that uh, bar up in the top there, um, right now it's on yellow, which means I'm in the middle. Uh, if you can fill up the green part, you get away from the cops, and you'll enter what's called cooldown mode. And once the cooldown bar fills up, you're good. Chase is done. Um, when it fills up in red, you get busted. Um, I think you get fined and your car gets an impound strike. When you get three impound strikes, um, you lose your ride permanently. You gotta lose these cops somehow. I love it when cars drive in front of you. Well, okay, I lost two of them. Now I gotta either hit this third one or fake them out. I'm going to run right into a car like that. Ooh, this is a pursuit breaker. Watch what happens. Oh, jeez. Okay, so now we're in... Oh, no. Don't find me, don't see me, don't see me. Dang it. So now i got to get away from this guy, too. See if we can find another pursuit breaker. Or just let them catch up to you. Smack them around. Come on guys. Get to the side, there you go. That was horrible. Oh, they stayed just ahead of you. Come on! Took one out. Now I gotta get this last guy. Um, oh. No, don't you dare bust me. I'm gonna hit this thing. I don't know why I didn't show up on my radar. Ah, 
cut it? What? Oh my god, I cannot get away from this. They, they just spawn a cop. And the pursuit breakers aren't showing up on my mini map for some reason. I don't know why. See, there's always one in front. You gotta like turn around right after you knock one out. Okay, so now we're in cooldown mode. Um, and actually, right here is a hiding spot. See how fast the cooldown thing goes up? So now we're going to go find the safe house, which is where we can check for new races, customize cars, switch cars, manage crew, all sorts of stuff. Listen to some sweet techno. Must have really gone far. <laughs> I was really debating on whether or not to do do one with this game or do one with uh, Pro Street. And I kind of chose this game because I just, I love the story in this game so much. Because it's kind of like mystery, you find out what happened. And Pro Street is just a bunch of legal racing with no cops or anything. <laughs> <laughs> 